Knights of Apollo. What is up, guys? It's Apollo here. That's right. We're back with Brennan. And we just took this city right here, which is now under our banner, under our control. So it's pretty exciting stuff. That was a big battle. So I'm excited about this episode. We're going to see how this war against the Western Empire is going to play out. We are absolutely conquering right now. The Batanians are on a roll. And it's very exciting. So guys, sit back, relax, get some snacks and drinks, and let's jump in. Also, don't forget to like the video. I appreciate that. It helps a lot. So, uh, what are we going to do here? Uh, I'm definitely not going to leave. Uh, I'll go ahead and release this army. They can go do whatever they want. I'm going to wait here for a little bit and see what the enemy does. They might try to make a move. Nope, they're going to leave. They're like, shucks. Ah, shucks, he took the city. We're out of here, boys. You know, they're out. So, um, that's a good start. And we have some upgrading here we can do after such a fantastic battle. Uh, so, we'll go ahead and just whatever. That's good. And we also can have 170 troops now. So, that's pretty freaking sweet. And if we manage the town, they are going to most likely rebel. I really don't know what to do about that. Um, there's a food shortage here. Oh, that's why they're so upset. I bet if we fix that food shortage, um, things will get better. Um, I wonder if we could just, how could we do that? Could we, could we just sell food to them? Like, can we just, like, let's just try to help them out. Like, we'll give all our, our sheep and stuff away, and then I'll give rid of all my grain. We'll go buy some more food. Maybe this will help. I don't know. Let's go to a different city and buy some food. Like, I'll go to Sargot. Why not? Make them hungry. So, we gotta be careful, though, because this city is going to be vulnerable to attack. We got a couple armies moving up north. Where are they headed? Oh, they're going to defend. Look at that. We're making a thousand gold now per day. Oh, we have peace? Really? Peace? Already? Interesting. Yeah, we've got peace. And we were still able to maintain this city. I thought what I thought what was going to happen is that they were going to take this back and then they'd have peace. But look at this, guys. We're growing. Let's see, what do we have here? What's the what's the terms? They're giving us a thousand seventy. Oh, 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 we're making so much money. Okay, great. So I'm gonna I'm gonna still go to Sargot and see if we can um get some food. Because we're now down to 44, which is way too low for this army. I'm also going to recruit some soldiers. Here we go. Let's recruit troops. Wait, no, not from here. I need... I mean, I wouldn't mind having Volandians in the army as much as I hate them. But we just need to buy food from here. Oh, cheap grain. That's what I'm talking about. We'll get a good chunk of that. I want to try to mix it up a little bit. So they can have a little... A little of everything. Get some beer in there. There we go. 5,000 worth of food right there, boys. And look at this. The Vernon Castle faction rebelled. Are they at war? So this faction, the Kingdom of Day Rothad. Yeah, they're at war with the Valandians. And it's just them and some mercenaries. Interesting choice there. That's the thing, is like, you can have rebellions and factions break apart, which could happen to the Batanians. We gotta be careful about it. Let's see, this is my Wanderer. Let's see, plus 5% plus travel speed on dunes and deserts. Let's see, minus 50% travel speed penalty from forests if your party's composed of 75% more infantry. I don't know, whatever. It doesn't matter. I mean, it makes them faster in one way or another. That perfect, yeah. Be faster, make more money for me. Thanks. Also, this city, this castle that I really want back is under control of this minor faction. 
I say we just we just ask them to join us. I don't know if you can do that. That would be kind of cool. Like, just join us. We'll let you keep your territory. You're just under the banner of the Batanians. Does that sound good? Capiche? Capiche? All right, so let's go attack these guys real quick if we can. Ah, forget it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go recruit. We, meet, we need Sturgeons. And we need um, more archers, I suppose. We just need to max out our army, honestly. Let's go to Inveth. It's nice. It's under our control. That is very nice. So we'll just get some more bows in the army. I think the rest will be infantry. Because if we look at our party composition... Party composition, 69 giggity archers. 34 cav, 43... We need more infantry. That is our, our biggest issue right now. So again... Where am I going to get infantry from? I'm going to get the northern boys. I'm going to go and go speak to the Sturgeons and convince them to join me. And to do that, I will get current Sturgeon soldiers. Go talk to them. And be like, yeah, this breading guy's awesome. You want to make lots of money? This is the way to do it. You want to win a lot of battles? This is the way to do it. Um, ugh, I could take in these guys. I'm not going to. Like I said, I need I need more infantry, not cav or archers. So I'm just going to ignore that. We're just going to keep pushing forward. The question is, who are we going to go to war next with? Because pretty much all of pre previous enemies of Batania are paying us gold. So I think, if anything, the Valandians will declare war on us for a change. I think it's been mostly, you know, us declaring war on them. So let's go to this village over here. This little fishing village. Little fishing village looking for some people to fight. Alright, there we go. Nice. And we'll go up here for more soldiers. And at this point, we just want to focus on getting these guys leveled up. So, any way we can hunt down bandits or anything like that. We're going to do it. And by the way, I've... <laughs> yeah, these guys turn into uh, calf. So I've been getting a ton of these guys. That's not good. So someone left a comment and it makes sense. They're like, hey, Paula keeps recruiting guys that turn into calf when he wants infantry. And you're right. You're 100% correct. Um, There we go. This is my... Oh, nice. This is actually my governor. So anything... Let's see. Let's. What do we got here? Let's see. Minus 10% food consumption in your party. No morale penalty for having single type of food. That's nice. Minus 5 wages in your party. Minus 50% recruitment cost. Um, None of this affects a governor. So, I don't know. We'll just do that one doesn't really matter her steward is up we need to get her steward up because I, I i assume a steward affects a governor if i'm not mistaken i could be mistaken but uh yeah we need to try to make her a good governor because uh she is governing a city and wow the valanians still maintain omor like come on sturgeons take it you would think the Sturgeons would be pretty good at siege battles because their infantry is just so good. You would think that they would, you know, make them pretty good at attacking. All right. So, wow. You can see that. Yeah. Okay. We ended our mercenary contract. There we go. Sturgeon warrior. That's what we need. Keep going. We're going to keep going until uh, we fill the ranks with Sturgeons. At least the infantry ranks. And we do have prisoners. Oh, we do have an upgrade. Cool. But yeah, we need to try to do some quests. I think what I'm going to do is do some quests around Batanian territory. Like in villages and stuff. That way, so like if we get our army wiped, you know, God forbid... Uh, but if we get our army wiped, we can quickly recruit more soldiers at a decent tier of quality. Because we've been helping out the, the local 
villages. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. We're maxed out. Look at that. Sweet. All right, let's head back to friendly territory just in case war breaks out. We need to be ready. But yeah, wow, we're making 3,380 gold. That's pretty awesome. That's really awesome. Now, this other city we have, I believe this is an empire city. I might even move the governor down here to uh, to govern this, depending on the situation. See, loyalty's going up, security's up, militia's going up, garrison's up. That's pretty good. If we compare it to this, prosperity's going up, loyalty's barely going up, security is still terrible. We need more, I think we need more defenders in here. You know? Mm, yeah, we need to do something. I think we need to... We probably need to drop off some troops in the garrison or build some sort of militia thing. You know, that makes more, more troops. Food stocks plus six. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's going okay. We just need, we just need more defenders here and we'll be set. I might just go and drop... I don't want to drop off all the new recruits I got from Sturgia. Obviously, I want them in my army. Man, we're making 3k gold a turn? What the heck? Alright, so let's manage the town. Yeah. Dang, dude. That's not good. They've got a garrison barracks. Hmm. They just need more troops. Okay. This is what we're going to do. Let's... Go to the keep, and we're going to manage garrison, and we're going to just drop off troops. Um, let's organize, organize it by, I guess, tier, yeah. So, very bottom is our best tier. Nice, we have 25 of these champions. Wow. Elite cataphracts, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Anyways, we'll drop off, not these guys. Um, I'll keep the Sturgeon Warrior. Let's drop off a bunch of archers. Because we can get these guys pretty quick. You know what I mean? Let's get these guys out. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I I'm going to do that. I'm just going to free up a bunch of space. And you know what? Here, let's do this. I'm going to take my Sturgeon Recruits. And I am going to drop them off. But only temporarily. That's going to have it so I have a lot more space to recruit a bunch of archers. Really, honestly, I'll recruit whatever. I'll recruit from the local villages. Give them some jobs. You know? And they're not too far away from home. Just kidding. There's no one to recruit. Why is there no one to recruit in these villages? You know? It's like, come on. Come on. Like, where are they? I swear, if there's nobody in here... What the heck, man? I don't know. Let's just go up here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. They want, they want their territory back. This is the Valandians, I bet. Attacking. Yep. They want it back. Oh, and then another army of 700 is showing up. <laughs> Valandian trash. Okay, so... We're gonna... Yeah, we're just gonna take everyone here. And, uh, what we're going to do is, um, recruit and then we're going to drop it off in our city and then we'll take back the, um, the Sturgeons. Oh yeah. Perfect. All right. And then let's go to this village up here. Get out of here. Mercenary scum. And nice. Okay. We want mostly archers in the defense. I think having like a ton of archers defending the walls can be extremely effective. Uh, that way, if we actually go and defend, we know we're, you know, we're going to rely on my own personal infantry to hold, but having so many archers is going to tear up so many enemies. So I try to lean towards mostly having archers as the garrison force in here. And I didn't realize we're making so much money. So this is awesome. Also, how much money are we making from our, our work, our warehouse, or the workshop? Plus one, 164, that's not bad. 
one of my caravans is making a thousand almost a thousand gold 827 we have all this tribute like this is awesome so awesome all right so manage town how's the happiness it's getting worse okay let's go to the keep garrison and yeah we're gonna drop off all of these guys so what is it control no no what is it i don't know i'll just do shift that does five at a time there we go just like that so now it's at 104 and hopefully i'm gonna do another like uh recruit recruitment run and hopefully that improves um the security there a little bit it is going up secure rebel faction has emerged they're led by clan Fendengil. The rebels demand that their lands be allowed to secede from the kingdom. Why would they allow... What? Who demands that? You know what I mean? That's weird. It's like, hey, I should be allowed to secede from the kingdom. Like, imagine telling that to the king. Hey, hey, king. Yeah? I'm one of your lords. I, you know, I'm under you. Yeah? I want to secede from the kingdom whenever I want. No. <laughs> That's not how this works. This is not how the system works. Okay? Like, yeah, but it should be a law that allows me to secede. Allow you to secede? Like, what? So, that's pretty funny. And kind of stupid. Alright, so we've maxed out our army again. We're going to go drop these guys off. And we'll, we could do it one more time. And you can see I'm starting to make less money because I'm upping the garrison here. In this settlement. Uh, security's, security's positive, but the loyalty is negative. It's barely getting better. But it is getting better. So that's good. And this should help the security a little bit. Let the people feel a little bit safer. I get it. You know, nobody wants to live in an undefended city. You're just like a ripe picking for attack. All right. So, get these volunteers out of here. They're not great, but better than nothing. We got a couple of elite here. The highborn in there. Cool. You know what I should do? Just do all, all level threes. Except for the Sturgeons. I'm going to keep the Sturgeons. Because I don't want to lose them. So all level threes. I might keep on. I I'll think I'll hold on to the Freebooter. Because they're kind of hard to get. They're like bandits and stuff. I'll just hold on to them. Alright. So they're at 135. But not truly. Because they're just temporarily holding my Sturgeon infantry in here. So the security is now way up. Okay, great. So I'm going to do one more run of recruitment. There's one more quick little run. And that should help the the security quite a bit. Because I want to get that to at least like two. You know, plus two with security. And uh, the only thing is, like, I don't think the troops... And correct me if I'm wrong, guys, in the comments. But I don't think the troops level up. As a garrison force. So if I put the level 1 troop. They won't become level 2 eventually. I think they're always just level 1. So it's. You know. It's probably not the best here. I'll just get these guys. So they're a little bit better. You know. A little bit better than the level 1 guys. Alright. Cool. And then let's get. More of these guys. And we're just going to keep doing this until we max out and then we'll go back and set up these troops at the garrison nice look at all these archers delicious delicious let's go ahead and get more archers over here this is nice it's kind of nice having peace time right now because it's just giving us time to kind of really establish our uh oh man we got some good units in here but yeah, establish our uh, defenses, you know, at our uh, vulnerable cities. 
But I'm curious, who do you think we're going to go to war with next? Like I said, I think someone's going to um, declare war on us. We have a bunch of um, prisoners that want to join us too. I'm, I'm probably going to take them in and, and drop them off. All right. That's... Here, we'll, we'll go to this village and we'll call it a day. Max out 173. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Great, guys. Great. You're hired. What's my job? You're going to defend a city. Sweet. I mean, that's a pretty good gig. As long as you're not attacked. You know? If you want a nice job, uh, just a job where you're at a post, that's it. You know? Pretty good. Relative, you know, in terms of safety. Defending a city. Maybe not so much in Banner. The cities are attacked left and right over and over in this damn game. So, I don't know. Especially, it's a border town too. So, it can be a ripe target. Alright, see if we can upgrade. Okay, so we got the 15, the 15 prisoners that want to join us. So, I'm going to go ahead and add them to the army. Okay, so we'll do that. And... Let's, oh, now it's 16. Okay. I know. And then we're going to go into the settlement here. And manage once again. And we're going to drop off all the low levels here. That's pretty good. Um, we might have to get rid of a little bit more. How much cab do we have now? 33. We have 72 archers. That's pretty good. All right. Yeah. Where's my Sturgeon boys? That's weird. Where's my Stur Sturgeon soldier? There they are. Wait. I thought we had 20 in there. Was it 19? Maybe they leveled one up. Okay. So we, we have too many now. So we're going to have to let go of some troops. What do we have too much of? I didn't really want to... Uh, I kind of like the... I, I like this combination. I, I guess we could let go of the horse archers. We don't really need them. I don't know. I'm just trying to look at what I wouldn't mind letting go. I don't want to let go of any of them, really. I guess I'll just... Yeah, let's get rid of these guys because we can easily get them. You know what I mean? So it's not a big loss. And there. There we go. So that will be it. That's their security. Hopefully that, that makes them happy. So if we go to manage town... Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. No. It, it's positive now. It's positive. It's at 51... We could build a little bit. Let's try to build. I'll drop off more gold. And uh, we'll wait here. I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm just going to chill here. And just see if we can get this building done. I wonder if the city can rebel while you're in it. I don't think they... Maybe. They might. Yeah, the loyalty is, is going down. They're like, oh, how dare you improve our city? How dare you build more and make it a better place to live? How dare you? Like, all right. Okay. So, a couple days. They're at 46. This is 18 days to finish. We'll just chill here. We got leveling up here. That's nice. So, we want to... Definitely want more infantry, so we're going to go with the Sturgeon Warrior. We got some more prisoners. Um, I'll let them sit and rot and, and let them think about it before they join us. <laughs> or I could just sell them to slavery or whatever. I, I assume that's what you do when you sell prisoners in the, in the tavern. It's like slavery or something. I don't know. Maybe you're just like ransoming them off. Alright, so a couple days. I'm just constantly checking this. It's actually not too bad. 
We should be able to build this, actually. The workshop. So. Yeah. We're just gonna chill here. And wait. Okay, so it's been a couple days. And you can see we're getting kind of low on food. So we, we want to change that. We lose about 10 food a day. Which is a lot. But, um... If we look at the town... Let's check out this town. Um, their loyalties, it's dropping, but it's slow. I think we'll be able to finish this building before the loyalty gets a little too low. And this is going to help us build faster, right? If I'm not mistaken. See, the building which provides the means required for the manufacture or repair of buildings improves project development speed. Also, stonemasons uh, reinforce the walls. So this is a good one to get pretty early. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to let it keep building. And we're going to go out and we're going to get more food. I'm just going to go to Rote over here. And we'll be right back. To make sure the city doesn't rebel. If it gets too close, we'll, we're going to have to stop construction for a little bit. Um, it sucks, man. It sucks kind of micromanaging. micromanaging um, what is this? The retreat? What is the retreat? Interesting. Is this... Is this like a famous... Mountain or something? Some history to this mountain? Whatever. Not gonna worry about it. What I need to worry about is getting food! Rote! I'm about to buy all your food! They also have a tournament here, which, you know, we could do. So let's trade. See what they got. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fish and grain with olives and butter. Grapes, meat. Lots of beer. Let's get the uh, lots of beer in this army. Okay, cool. 8,000. 8,000. That's a lot of money for all that food. But that's okay. They deserve it. I got good little soldiers. And they deserve good little meals. I care about them. So we're going to head back and we're going to check the status of our building here. Man, this is so great. This is just so great. Making so much money. And we have such a strong army too. Like it could be stronger. I've got a lot of rookies in here, but this is awesome. So if we go to this building... They are very upset, but the expected change is getting lower and lower while we're building. This is good. Um, security is barely positive. Um, prosperity is not really doing great. Let's see, food surplus, goods from market, aqu aqueducts, settlement issues. I don't know what that means. Prosperity, let's see. Cantons and corruption. Wow, there's a lot of corruption. How do we fix that? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we, um... I don't know. Get rid of this gang leader? This gang leader is friends with the ruler of the Western Empire. That's kind of weird. Let's talk to him. Let me introduce myself. Your lordship. Yeah, um... Wait. This guy has a wood workshop? What if I bought it? I'm gonna buy it from you. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it. So you... Does that help? Owner of Backstreet. The Backstreet Boys? I don't know. Let's, um... Let's continue to wait here. How many more days? Hold on, we'll check it after this, but... I'm just trying to see, like, how we can improve prosperity. Maybe, like, showing that I'm investing in businesses here kind of helps with that. <laughs> Probably not. But we'll see. Um... Loyalty's getting... It's still getting a little bit better. 
And how many more days? 16 more days. Dang, that's still a lot. I'm going to just keep going. I want to finish this building. I can't just like, I can't just keep like stopping and going. I, I, I want to finish this. Also, let's go and, um, with the prisoners we have here, what do we got? An outrider, a crossbow. We're going to take these guys all and we're going to put them into security. So let's, anybody who's not here, the militia, yeah, go into security. There you go. And then we had like an outrider or something. It was called something like that. An outrider. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so, uh, we'll keep the sword sisters because they're kind of like strange. Um, I don't know. I I don't want to get rid of anything that's hard to get. I guess we'll get rid of these the skirmisher because we can always get those pretty easy in the future. All right, so we improved the security a little bit. Is it? I didn't expect this episode to be a um, a city managing episode, but it's kind of what it's becoming. That's okay. We're gonna chill here until we finish the building. All right, so it's been a couple days. I've just been chilling. I actually donated or sold some food to the city to kind of help with prosperity a little bit. So if we go to the management, our loyalty is dropping, but it's only losing 0.22% or 22 score, whatever. So that's actually pretty good. That's pretty good because um, it's barely going down. If it maintains that, then we can build a lot. So we'll, we'll we'll be able to build a ton, wait a little bit to kind of build up the loyalty and then build again for a long time. Uh, so that's awesome. Um, and 10 days until they complete this workshop. So hopefully we'll get some more workshop stuff going on. Um, we also are making um, some good money still. So 2000 per turn. Um, I, this has not been the most riveting, but I'm going to go and check the other city as we wait for that to build. Just kind of do, you know, all that I can to improve these cities. Now, I know the other city, look at all this, all these prisoners that want to join. I know the other city, they're actually doing pretty good. Prosperity wise, they're doing pretty good and their loyalty is now going up. Their loyalty is at 34, 45 now. Let's just see if there's anything we can do. The security is not great. Security is pro it is positive, but we could donate some troops here, and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go and take. First off, let's level this guy up. I'm gonna go and take my prisoners here, and donate them to the city, just to kind of improve. The overall, you know, security of the, uh, the town. Wait, did I just donate a bunch of Sturgeons? I think I did. Yeah, Sturgeon soldier. I'll take the, uh, I'll take the Sturgeons back. Give me, give me the Sturgeon warriors. Okay, cool. Man, there's some good units in here. I shouldn't take them though. I shouldn't. All right, and then we'll uh, put in a couple crossbows. Are these the guys that are going to become horsemen? I'll, I'll donate them too. I don't need them. I don't need more horses, you know? I just need more infantry. Legionary. Here, we, let's get... There we go. Cool. That's going to put them at a hundred, pretty much 100, 99. Hopefully that helps with the happiness a little bit and improves the loyalty a little bit faster so we can get back to building. But the defense here is 388 because of the garrison and the militia. That's pretty good. Let's head back over to the Geta. The Geta. Let's see how much it's improved. 
So loyalty is still going down, but it's 0.15 while building. This is really, really good. Militia's going up. Security's still good. Just everything's good. Everything is good. So how many more days? Eight more days. Let's finish this building. All right. So a non-aggression pact just ended with us and Sturgia. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. If we're going to maybe negotiate another non-aggression pact. Or maybe we'll go to war with Sturgia. Which uh, will be kind of awkward for all my new recruits. But uh, we'll see. The loyalty continues to go down, by the way. Look at this. It is continuously... It's going down. 0 0.09. So loyalty is barely going down when we build. So next time, I'm just going to get the loyalty to get really high. And then we should be able to build everything, really. I mean, it's so low. As long as it doesn't change. Uh, how many more days? Five more days. All right. Well, let's just chill here for some time. Okay. We got something that popped up here. Declaring war. <laughs> <laughs> declaring war on the Sturgeons <laughs> because not enough people are paying us tribute and they're one of them so again going to our diplomacy um I'll go ahead and vote yes oh wow we have a lot of influence wow that's awesome but yeah going to our diplomacy oh my gosh everyone's at war with the Sturgeons holy smokes but yeah, if we get Sturgia on here, they will be another faction uh, that will have to pay us tribute. So that's, I'm pretty sure they weren't paying us tribute. So that's awesome, guys. That's awesome. So um, we are two days away from this building being complete. And once we get to that point, I'm going to let this city do its thing and have festival and games. After the War of the Sturgia, we'll come back and we'll, uh, you know, continue to build here. But this is great. This is some, there's a lot of buildings we got to build. So this is exciting. All right. It's time to uh, put the men to the test. It's going to, there's going to be some brothers killing brothers here because of the, uh, the Sturgians we have in our ranks. Um, I have a bunch of prisoners still. I should probably get rid of them. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna dump them. So we're gonna just go to the tavern and ransom the prisoners. Okay, we don't we're not putting them into slavery. We're we're ransoming them. Just ransom all of them. I don't care. We're at 200k gold. It's time to march to the front. Let's get this city right here. Yeah, it's time for battle. Let's go. Sturgia will fall. Now the only thing is. I always get nervous when we're at war with a faction because this is a great opportunity for a faction like uh, the Volandians to declare war on us and to get back some territory. So hopefully we can swoop in and make this quick. Take a couple settlements, get a little stronger. You know what I mean? We'll see. How many are defending here? 350. Hmm. How many of those are archers? Not a lot. See, ranged. Uh, you know, I might just lay siege with my 174. I, I might just do... I, I should... Let's muster an army here. Uh, wow, these guys are expensive. They must hate me. Why do they cost so much? I guess I'll do you two. Yeah, this, this faction likes me, but... Well, I don't know. I mean... Dang, dude. 60... What? What's how do you get these prices down? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it is that they don't like us. So I'm gonna chill here a little bit and wait. Oh, there someone's someone's sieging them over here. Now keep in mind that the the Sturgeons are at war with many factions. So this is going to be a great time to gobble up some territory. And again, I'm just gonna chill here. I'm kind of just. It's a soft siege. Not letting anybody get... You no know, villagers, no caravans, nothing. Oh my gosh. Who is this? Alright, we're gonna get out of here. Someone with 700 troops by themselves? 
Where are they headed? They're going to a city, a castle to defend. Okay. So they're not interested in us. They should be, but they're not. So we're just going to chill here. I'm going to let him ride off. Okay. We're at 403 now. So we now outnumber the garrison. But we're going to get out of this guy's way. He should... He should cross the bridge here. Let's just wait and see. Okay, I lost him. I don't know where he went. Alright, let's close in. We're gonna besiege the town. Oh wow, they've got a lot of siege equipment up here. So they can hold out for 10 days. We can hold out for 12 days. I just realized we... Okay, there's the army. How good is this army? What do you guys think? I'm gonna leave. Yeah. We might need more troops. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get more food. Come on, please hurry. Please hurry. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Is he really coming for me? He hates me, dude. Not much food there, but I'll take it. I'm just going to keep running. That's fine by me. I'll go up here. We'll see if he keeps chasing. Nope. Alright, so he's going to disengage. That's fine. Instead of going to defend his castle over here, he's chasing me. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to I'm gonna summon more troops. I, uh, you're expensive. Yeah, I'm going to summon more troops. And um, see if I can beat that army on my own. In the meantime, though, we need more food. Oh, they took the castle. Oh, do we have a new lord here? Cool. Um, who's this? Who's Roland? I don't know. All right, I abstain. All right, so another castle under our control because of this war against the Sturgeons. Uh, how big is this army? 625? Actually, near 700. Good. The Sturgeons are over there. Vote for a new owner of Castle. We got another one? Holy crap. I'm going to vote for her. Because she kind of hates me. And I... Yeah. I, I Yeah, perfect. Of course, that's going to make him mad. But it is what it is. But yeah, we're going to get some food here. And then we're going to increase our army. Okay. Uh, we're going to increase our army um, size. Let's see. Like once we get another companion or lord to join us. Okay, cool. That should hold us over for a little bit. Let's go back and see if we can take this city. I'm almost... There he is. Boom. 509. That's a pretty sizable army. It's not the biggest, but it's sizable. Who? Who declared war? Oh, dude. Traitor alert. Traitor alert. We just gave this guy territory, too. What an a-hole. We gave this guy territory, and then he turned on us. Okay, I'm not really worried about... I'm going to take this castle over here. There's no reason they should have this castle. So let's get the castle. Dude, that sucks. That sucks. Uh, the Valandians took care of their little rebellion. Their little faction. Yeah, this army's coming to discipline him so fast. Oh! He joined... Dude! What an a-hole. He separated and then he joined. <laughs> he joined the Sturgeons. Dude, this guy deserves the hang. 
I mean, he is a traitor. All right, let's take this castle. How many defenders we got here? Doesn't matter. 356, not enough. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and build a bunch of siege equipment and just bombard the hell out of them. You know what I just realized? Uh, they have no food. <laughs> they have no food. So they're going to start losing troops rapidly. We probably don't even have to uh, attack here, honestly. Uh, hey, look, we just took back the castle. Give it to me. Give it to me. Here, I'll... Hmm, no, nah, I should vote. Now that I'm getting more influence, I really should start to vote more. Uh, because it's going to help improve my charm. Look at this. Are you coming to join me? Oh, well, he's in control now. Oh, nice. Gained a level. So once this is complete, I'm going to deploy all the siege equipment. And hope for the best. Hope for the best. And honestly, I'm just going to attack once we destroy all the siege equipment. Because I don't want to destroy the walls because then you got to rebuild them. Okay, cool. Oh, wait. I, I have no... I'm not in charge of the assault. <laughs> I forgot. This guy swooped in. He's in control now. So I guess we should build some siege towers and everything. Dang it. Okay, this is frustrating. We've destroyed everything. Like, we've destroyed the walls, the artillery. We have siege towers. We have a ram. And he still won't attack. He still will not attack. I think this is a glitch. I think we gotta... We gotta leave. And just let him do it. And is he attack? Yep, sure. Well, is he attack? Yeah, he's attacking now. So we can... See, it's a glitch. I mean, I understand that he takes over because he's like a higher rank than me, but he never attacks once he does. I have to leave and then he attacks. But I'll just send in the troops. We lost one guy. I mean, it's a pretty decisive... Oh, nice. Look at all the Sturgeon prisoners. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And we got a bunch of Sturgeons we can upgrade. Heck yes. Nice. Very nice, guys. Okay, and then we've got a bunch of loot. Again, I'm not going to take any of it. I'm just going to um give it to my troops, which is going to let them level up once more. And I think we leveled up as well. Yeah, a charm. Let's see, opposite. Let's do relationship game with the same gender. Very cool. Cool. Very cool. So we got that. We got that little castle back. That's a nice addition. And I'm going to go and try to take a city. We could take another city under our control. That would be pretty sweet. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go down here and I'm going to take this city. You know, the one that rebelled, they factioned off like this war. This is, yeah. Principality of Kostoravig. But I assume they're under, I don't know, whatever. I'm going to go siege this and take it back. We have a vote here for serfdom. I just popped up. So this villages grant 0.2 influence per day to the owner clan. Towns gain one security but lose one militia per day. Um, most people support it. I'll go ahead and show my support. Get my charm up. The king was not in favor of that. But 
the, the lords have spoken. The lords have spoken. What are you going to do about it? But yeah, if we get this city, we're going to have all our cities kind of nearby each other. You see this? It's like a triangle of cities. That's going to be pretty cool. All right, guys. So we're in position to attack. It looks like, yeah, they're going to siege with us. I'm just going to let them siege first. Here, I'll just do a soft siege. And not prevent any more villagers from coming in. I'll let them siege first. Even though I lose the chance of getting this city, it's okay. I don't really, I don't really mind. I just, I don't want to deal with that glitch. And they have 473 defenders in here. A pretty sizable force, but we heavily outnumber them. Hey, look at this. So, um, Wyden, Widen, what is his name? That's my son. Uh, we're going to make him a smart boy. And let's make him social. Intelligent and social. Sweet. Look at him jump around like a dummy. Alright, cool. Siege has begun. Um, this is another auto resolve here. We lost 25 in our party. But, holy crap. My, a lot of experience it was gained there. And my, yes, my, uh, doctor... My physician or whatever in the army gained a lot of experience there. So that is awesome. Ton of leveling up. And let's check out... Okay, first off... Take all the food. But yeah, let's check out um what, what's going to happen here. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at us continue to grow. We will be unstoppable. It, there is a problem, though, because we don't have that many lords. Our, our expansion might be a little too quick here. Um, but what am I doing? Oh. Didn't... Didn't she level up? Well, no, she didn't... Tr oh, there we go, yeah. So let's improve her intelligence, make her better at her job. Let's get that medicine up. Hell yeah. Okay, guys, so... We've taken this most likely... Here, you know what we're gonna do? Let's uh, disband the army. We're good here. Yep. And then we're going to go to Legate and check on that. Let's see. Their loyalty is now at 54. So we should be able to build over there again. Um, I guess we'll vote for this guy. There we go. Our influence is starting to drop a little bit. Okay, so we made it to our city here and we're gonna check out um the situation so we've got our workshop we can build the workshop again uh loyalty is at 55 so we should be able to build other stuff quickly um orchards would help with food production which i think would help um people be happier so we're going to build the orchard next. And it's going to take 72 days. What the heck? No. What about the market? Why is it going to take so long? Jeez. It's, I guess that's the norm. Here, I guess we can build a granary. That improves the food reserves limit. We just have to drop off a bunch of food. You know what? No. Let's just build another... Yeah, even though this is going to take forever, it's going to make it so we can build other stuff faster. So we'll do that, I guess. I don't know. Well, guys, we are out of time. So we're going to end the episode here. I know this one's going to be a little bit shorter compared to the other ones because there's a lot of editing in this one. Uh, but we're making some great progress. The war against the Sturgeons most likely will end very soon. They're going to negotiate peace and most likely pay us tribute. Uh, I do want to take the city from them. But again, we got to be careful with our expansion. We don't want it to... Uh, we don't want to grow too fast, too quickly. You know what I mean? So that's going to wrap it up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time in Calradia.